everyone um decided to do a quick video on some nice long extensions with all my new glitters that i got as you can see at the minute i've already glued the tips down and i am just prepping this is the glitter bells dehydrator i always like to do two coats of this because i find i tend to get a little bit less lift in And then we're going to move on to the Glitter Bells Acid Free Primer as well. And just make sure you only put that on the natural nail. It doesn't need to go on the tip. Then I do on every set, um, I put a very thin layer of clear over the top of the nail. This just helps protect it from any coloured acrylic you may use or sometimes they can stain also if you want to file the nail back down um, to change the design without having to soak everything off you've then got this base to go down so it, it sort of protects your natural nail a bit more make sure we do this on all five of our fingers and by the time you've done the thumb the little finger would have dried and you'd be ready to start putting your design down so these are my new lovely glitters I'm going in with glitter bells cashmere cover now I did try a slightly new technique with this so please excuse me if it looks a bit messy and I look a bit khaki handed. My very first time having a go at using a craft knife, normally I would just use my brush to pat the shape down and then file to try and get it even. And I was kind of hoping this would be a quicker way to get the shape I want. Right now we're going to put a bit more of our cashmere cover and try and get it nice and neat up by that cuticle. Don't flood the cuticle, you want to push it up nice and close without it actually touching it. Don't worry if it doesn't look perfect because it is going to be filed down afterwards. And here I'm just double checking that I've got enough product in place for my apex to give the nail its strength. Now we're going in with the first glitter. I've already put a little bit of clear down on this half of the nail. And then we've put glitter onto that and then we're going over with the clear on top to encapsulate the glitter in. And it'll also make it easier as I only want half of the nail with the pinky red colored glitter and the other half with the bluey colored glitter. So we've done the same again, put a little bit of clear down first, placing the glitter on top of that wet clear, making sure it's sort of as covered as we can get it. And then once we've done that, we're going to go through again and put our, our glass slippers by Glitter Bowls over the top. Right now we're going to go on to the thumb, so I decided to do this one a little bit different. So we're going in with our cashmere cover again, going part way down and then we're going to almost do like a glitter ombre. So we only really want the cashmere cover up where it's sort of your natural nail bed is. And again, to go very careful by the cuticles so that you don't end up flooding it. And then just sweeping it down so we got a nice soft finish, no big steps. 
Now, as cashmere clear has literally just gone on, so it's a little bit wet, I didn't bother putting any clear down first because I knew the cashmere cover would help the glitter to stick to that. Just pat it round, make sure it's not overhanging the edges. And sort of feather it up the colour that we've got on the nail just to help blend it all in and then we're going to encapsulate all of that glitter with our clear again we do this so that when we come to file it we shouldn't hit the glitter which could take any colour out of it or make it more noticeable so it protects it and it also helps build strength up in the nail You don't need to worry about taking this all the way up to the cuticle because the cashmere is a cover powder so it doesn't need to be encapsulated at all. Now we're going on to the ring finger and again we're using the cashmere cover and the same sort of thing we're just going to blend it down and then place the glitter on the end blend it up onto the cashmere cover and then encapsulate so I'll be quiet for a little bit and let you watch Right, so we are going in with the clear again, and again, there's no need to put it all the way up to the cuticle with this because we have a cover colour at the very top of the fingernail going up to the cuticle, so we're only really needing to put the clear wherever the glitter is. And gently pat it in, blend the two. The two beads together and then just pull it down the nail. Now we're on to our lap and I think this glitter has got to be one of my favourites, the multiple colours you get from it when it catches the light is beautiful. But again, we're just going to do like the ombre effect with it. So putting our cashmere cover and taking that right up to the cuticle. And again, as you can see, I put a little bit of clear on just to help the glitter adhere to the tip. 
and then we're placing the glitter where we want it and also having a slight gradient coming up onto the cashmere cover. If you do find you've got little patches where there's not enough glitter like I just done there, I just put the tiniest little bit of clear on my brush, placed it onto the nail, and then I could pick up more glitter. encapsulate all that glitter. Right, and now we're going in with our filing routine and I always use a 150 grit and I go along and I tend to do the side walls of all the nails, the free edge as well and get that shaped up to how I want it to look and also run the file underneath the nails as well to make sure they're straight and you know we haven't got any excess acrylic underneath there. Once I'm happy with how my side walls are and my shape, I then get my 180 file and I go around the cuticle first just to tidy it up and make sure it's all nice and smooth and then to help get rid of the bulk in that from the tip, as you can see, I'm angling it and as I'm filing sort of up and down the finger, I'm also moving it from side to side so that then you'll get in sort of it filing evenly rather than just taking a lot out of one side. And then we go through and do this on all the nails, make sure there's no lumps or bumps and our cuticles are nice and tidy and we've got a nice shape to the finger. Once you're happy with the shape of your nails, then what we need to do is go over the top and buff them with a sanding block. This will help smooth them all out, get rid of any rough edges and anything, just make them look a lot more polished than what they would have done if we had just gone, on with, gone over with the 180. The 180 will leave slightly bigger grooves from filing in the nail.
Make sure you've dusted your nails off and, or given them a rinse under the tap before you start doing this next step because we don't want any dust left on our fingers but I was so excited to use these, these are brand new stickers. So easy to use, just a pair of tweezers, choose the one you want, gently pick it up off the sheet, place it onto the nail and then just press it down to make sure it's all stuck. And very little effort for a very big impact. I do really, really like these. And then once you're happy, you then go to the last step. So this is Glitter Bell's No Wipe Top Coat. And we're just gonna put these on the top, this on the top and the sides of all of our nails. I absolutely love this bit because your nails go from all matte and not really being able to see the glitter to lovely and shiny. And then we're gonna cure that top coat for 60 seconds. Now, because whenever I do glitter, I always cure and um, put top coat underneath the nail as well, just in case you have got any areas where there isn't any glitter, it makes it nice and clear and the tip very see-through instead of a bit cloudy. I just find it helps make the glitter stand out a little bit more. Then we cure the underneath for another 60 seconds and beautiful shiny sparkly nails. Thank you for watching my video. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.